Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from mechanical properties of solids that to particularly based on Young's modulus of a wire. Let us read out the problem first. We need to calculate the elongation in the wire in terms of mass of the wire which is given to us and the length of the wire is also given to us and no information is given regarding the area of cross section or the radius of the wire. Let us see what do you mean by that. We know Young's modulus is defined as ratio of longitudinal stress to that of a longitudinal strain. So I can rearrange it as Fl by Ay. F into delta L by so I need to see this once again. I can rearrange the terms as Young's modulus equal to F into L by area into delta L. We want to calculate the increase in the length of the wire or elongation in the wire or extension in the wire delta L equal to FL by AY. So we can understand that there is a rigid support where a wire is there. Where on the bottom of that a force F is applied. This wire is having a length L. Of course, must be having an area A, but it was not given to you. Mass of that wire is given for you. So F value is already known to us, L value known to us, Hence modulus is constant. What is not known to us is the area of that wire area of cross section of that wire that information is not available for us but the mass of the wire is available for you so i have to write that area of the wire in terms of the mass of the wire i can write volume of the wire as area of cross section of the cylindrical wire multiplied by length we also know density is equal to mass by volume for the wire that implies Volume can be written like mass by density. Rearranging the terms, mass by density equal to area into length. As area is not known to us, I can write area as mass by density into length. Let us replace that in the given equation. That means in this place of area, I'll be writing this value and see what's going to happen. Let us see then. Increase in the length of the wire is force into length, the place of area, mass of the wire by density of the wire and length of the wire, and of course, Young's modulus as it is given here. So I can rearrange the terms delta L equal to FL square density by M into Y. It is given that force is constant, density of the wire is anyway constant, Hence, modulus is constant. I can write delta L of the wire is directly proportional to L square by mass of that wire. That means increase in the length of the wire is directly proportional to the square of the length and is inversely proportional to the mass of the wire if I want to compare two different cases. So if somebody say, if somebody say, if I have used two different wires where L is same but their mass is different because their thickness is different. Then I can write delta L is inversely proportional to the mass of the wire. So if two wires of similar length but of different mass are suspended and if the same force is applied, the inversely proportional to mass now, heavy mass expands this and vice versa. This is how we have to understand and solve the problem 
basing on the Eng's models of the wire. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.